following program is brought to you in living color on NBC by Ford. Everybody ready? Ready. What about Snoopy? Isn't there something he can do? Yeah, he's pretty good at imitations. What, Snoopy? What does he know about doing imitations? He's just a dog. Ready? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, the Ford Show. Ernie Ford. Well, you have to admit, it's a pretty good imitation. You're ahead in a Ford. at home. Thank you for letting us come to your house. Oh, that kind of a song, there's no swaller in place. <laughs> I put in a few extra words, you notice, too. Shouldn't be there. Well, I hope everybody's bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I guess that's because it's spring. And it's a great time of year. The time of year when the birds and bees in the park watch the people. <laughs> Some sights. Of course, playing hoopy hide in the geraniums, now that's, uh, that's... <laughs> Did you ever play hoopy hide? <laughs> you look like you have, I tell you. <laughs> you, <laughs> well, I, uh, <clears throat> Of course, playing hoopy hide in the geraniums is for us single fellas, you know, or you single fellas. In the spring, a married man's fancy turns to something like fishing. Now, fellas, once you get hooked, you're not supposed to hook anything you can't put in the skillet. <laughs> hmm. 
I enjoy fishing, it's a lot of fun, but unfortunately, it's getting so crowded. I went on one of these deep sea fishing boats the other day. I think most of you have probably been on one of those. The only way I could get my line in the water was to dip it in the bait tank. <laughs> crowded? You can't even get up to the rail if you're sick. <laughs> have you been there? <laughs> I finally got a break, though. Somebody fell overboard, and I got his place. <laughs> but I had to hurry. When they fished him out, he had to go to the back of the line. <laughs> well, I, I really got squeezed in between two great characters, though. You know, on a fishing boat, they have what they call a jackpot. Everybody puts in, well, like 50 cents. And then all the money goes into a pot, and all of it then goes to the one that hooks the biggest catch of the day. And I still say the fella next to me should have won it. He hooked me. <laughs> Didn't seem to bother him, though. He just got a little behind in his fishing. <laughs> that one sort of creeped around. <laughs> On the other side of the boat, I want to tell you something. On the other side of the boat was this woman. She was something. If any of you fellas ever seen a woman who is just learning how to fish, uh, put a live bait sardine on a hook, you ever see her try to get one? I tell you, let me, let me show you. Now, let's, let's pretend this is the bait tank here, you know, and she comes tripping. every day. <laughs> she finally got it baited, threw her line in the water, pole and all, everything went into the water. I had a nice day. I got a lot of fresh air, particularly where that fella hooked me. And, uh, <laughs> remember these things if you ever go out on a deep sea fishing boat, they're fun. Here's something I enjoy even more than fishing, and that's introducing my favorite kids. Ladies and gentlemen, the top 20. Springtime, I love Paris in 
Top 20, that was a very nice visit to La Belle France. Thank you very much. Now, you folks may think I'm just loafing here, but I'm not. I'm out here cutting the grass, and this little device here lets me steer and run the lawnmower automatically. Watch, here it comes. <laughs> That's pretty nifty, huh? This is the kind of life we like to live, a life where machines take care of doing a lot of the annoying tasks for us. This is the reason why the 1961 Ford is so popular. It's beautifully built to take care of itself, so you folks won't have to spend time and money on unnecessary maintenance. The 61 Ford, for instance, will go 30,000 miles before it needs its first chassis lubrication. And then, when you reach 30,000 miles, all you will spend is about 20 minutes and $4 to have it lubricated for another 30,000. Think of it. Before your 61 Ford is ready for its first lube job, Others may have to have their cars lubricated as many as 30 times. Want more free time? Well, now you can forget about the nuisance of frequent brake adjustments because the 61 Ford adjusts its own brakes automatically. The 61 Ford also goes 4,000 miles between oil changes. Only remember, not all 61 cars give you these time and money-saving features, but the 1961 Ford helps you enjoy the kind of life you like best, this kind. Visit your Ford dealer and see how easy it is to own the 1961 Ford, the car beautifully built to take care of itself and you. When you do, then you know why we say you're ahead in a Ford all the way. Thank you. And now it's time for you to meet our guests this evening, two handsome young boys who have really stood the record business on its ear. Up till now, they've sold something like 15 million records, and they're only beginning to hit their stride. Let's give a big welcome to those two wonderful, talented kids, the Everly Brothers. <laughs>
Teenage hands off of the nest with that one. Come back here. Don't leave. Now, come on. You, 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 uh... Now, I've seen you. You do this on all the television shows that you do. I've seen you on about 20, and you never say a word. Nothing. You sing, and then you disappear like there's a sail on guitar picks or something. <laughs> now, look, let's sit down. I, I find a stool, and we're gonna get acquainted now and just have a nice little chat. Now, all set? Boy, you look sharp. I tell you. Mm. Now, first, um, Don, you two were born in Kentucky, right? Yes. And uh, you've both been singing since you got out of high school? Yep. And Phil, I understand you started singing the same town I did, Nashville. Yep. <laughs> you boys any kin to Gary Cooper? <laughs> Well, that's a nice change from yep, I'll say that. <laughs> well, actually, Mr. Ford, we've never had the opportunity to talk on hey, television Hey, that sounds good. Before. Talk up. You're if you never get a chance to talk, you get a little bashful. Yeah. But we do feel right at home with you. Uh -huh. We certainly do. We're not a bit nervous or bashful now. Well, good. Fine. <laughs> now, now tell me then. I got them going now. You two have got some big plans for the future, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> got any more questions, Mr. Ford? Nope. <laughs> Actually, we really enjoy getting a chance to talk for a change. Do you? Well, that's good. Now, look, I don't want to sound like a Dutch uncle or anything like that, but now, you two boys are doing great now, and a lot of things are happening, and I hope that you're putting a little something away now for your old age, like when you're around 25. <laughs> oh, sure. Everything we make goes right into the bank. Mm, that's right. Into the bank? Mm -hmm. Good. Well, what do you do for spending money? I borrow from him. What do you do for a little spending money? He pays me back. <laughs> I think we better get back to yep and no. Actually, we learned the value of money a long, long time ago. Did you? Mm. When, when we were young, things were kind of tough. <laughs> when we were young. When oh! we were young, things were kind of tough, and when uh, Dad taught us to play the guitar, all we could afford was one for the three of us. For the three of you? What'd you do, take turns? No, the three of us played it at once. The three of you at once? That's like three men milking the same cow. Somebody's gonna be pulling on somebody's fingers. <laughs> oh, look, you be Papa. Well, how did you do it? It's easy. <laughs> you be Papa and we'll show you how it's done. I'll be Papa. I would have to be Papa. I can... What did Papa do? Well, he played on these two strings right here. Come up here? The third With one. a pick. And you played up there? Uh -huh. well, what do you do? I play one on whatever's left over. Well, that's... No. Papa. <laughs> Papa played here. What'd you play? We played kind of a blues. Just kind of a blues beat would be fine. Well, let me see if I can find it here. Right. And Papa played about there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Well, for goodness sake. <laughs> yes. Papa know this. I'm a rattlesnake daddy and I rattle where I please. Yes, I'm a rattlesnake daddy and I rattle where I please. And when you hear me rattle, better get down on your knees. Here we go. I rattled last night 
the night before. I woke up this morning, gonna rattle some more. I'm a rattlesnake daddy. Yeah. From Tennessee. And when you hear me rattle, you better let me be. You better let me be. Oh, I I kind of like that kind of carrying on. That's fun. Uh, uh, could we do another one? Certainly. What would you like you to do? You don't mind singing with the old folks? No, not at all. You sure? Mm -hmm. Hey, let's do... Uh... Go ahead. You start. Johnny is a joker. He's a bird. A very funny <laughs> joker. He's a bird. He's so funny. He's a dog. He's joking ain't so funny. What a dog. Johnny is a joker that's a trying to steal my baby. He's a bird dog. Here we go. Hey, bird dog, get away from my quail. Hey, bird dog, you're on the wrong trail. Bird dog, you better be my dovey dove along. Hey, bird dog, get away from my chick. Hey, bird dog, you better get away quick. Bird dog, you better find a chicken little love you. seconds of every working day, someone buys a brand new Ford Falcon. Why are so many people sold on this particular compact car? One reason is low price. The Falcon is up to $505 lower in price than other compact cars with comparable equipment. It's America's lowest priced six passenger car. Yet even though it's priced less, the Falcon gives you plenty of room inside for six adults, just like the highest priced compacts. Three in the big back seat, three up front, plus interior appointments and luxury you'd expect only in cars costing hundreds of dollars more. People are also sold on the Falcon's economy. It costs as little as a penny a mile to drive because it goes up to 30 miles on a gallon of gas. These are just a few of the reasons why every 30 seconds, one more person helps keep the Falcon America's best-selling compact car. Of course, if you want a station wagon, you can enjoy these same Falcon savings in a new Falcon wagon. Why don't you be the next person to buy a Falcon from your Ford dealer? You have just 30 seconds, starting now. Just 
much. Thanks for coming by to see us, and thank you for letting us into your homes. That puts another one in the barn for tonight. We want to thank the Everly Brothers for dropping by to see us. Good luck to them. And don't forget, we'll be back next week when our guest will be the wonderful Roberta Sherwood. Until then, don't forget to drop in and see your Ford dealer. Good night, and bless your little pea-picking hearts. <laughs> The Ford Show has been brought to you by Ford, maker of the Falcon, America's best-selling compact that proved its economy when a Falcon delivered 32 and 6 tenths miles per gallon in the 61 Mobile Gas Economy Run. Show is a living color presentation on NBC. Now stay tuned for Groucho Marx and the Groucho Show. Next over most of these NBC stations.